Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a disassembly for you of this little guy right here. This is the Civivi Knives Chronic. Uh, hopefully this doesn't turn into a chronic problem, having to disassemble this guy. Yeah. Okay, anyways, we're going to take this guy apart, and uh, here we go. Alrighty, so uh, pop out. I don't believe I need to take out this second clip screw here, right? I think that I'm going to be okay just taking out the one. We'll see if I'm wrong. I think this is T8 instead. It is. It seems like a very low-key knife. And by the way, centering was just fine. No problems. Action was good. This is mostly a, uh, you know, um, I should do the disassembly sort of disassembly. Do I need to remove that other screw? Am I lying to myself? I think I might be. All right. Let's pull it out anyways, just in case. Oh, yeah. Okay. Looks like I did. I thought that that second screw didn't go all the way into the back space. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, maybe I didn't need to do that at all. All right, whatever. Uh, yeah, I didn't. Okay, see, the second screw just goes straight in the line of there. All right, whatever. Not the end of the world. Um, 9CR18MOV. All right, well, there it is, written very small, which, frankly, good. <laughs> All right, I'm a jackass. Um, let's go ahead and clean this guy up here. This is coming straight from the factory. As a matter of fact, this guy was sent to me directly by Civivi and or Wee Knives. Um, they're the same thing, but they're uh, different. Um, <clears throat> but nonetheless, uh, go ahead and do this cleanup anyways, because it can't hurt and it might help. So we'll clean this off. Um, relatively simple construction here. We do see some internal skeletonization, which is nice. Um, we see... Ah, interesting. We see steel bearings rather than ceramic. This doesn't super matter in my experience, um, but, you know, what's interesting to me and the reason I even brought it up is that Civivi, at least historically, I think, has used ceramics. So maybe they uh, found a way to cut costs by having some steel, or maybe, I don't know, maybe they just ran out this day. Does it matter? Probably not, no, but it's a thing. All right. Yeah, we're done. Oh, 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 hold on, gotta clean the pivot. Super easy, honestly. You know, I... Yeah, it's nice. Sometimes these disassemblies sort of write themselves, right? Okay, uh, which side is this? This is the show side. How is this? Okay, so what we see here on the pivot uh, is you see here, it's kind of hard to show off. Yeah, right there. Um, uh, oh, come off it. Right here. What we see is there's a little cutaway, and it's hard to see with the black paint, but it's uh, it's a thing. And that little cutaway needs to go against this little shelf right there, inside the uh, inside the pivot there. So I just need to make sure I align that there. That's going to make sure that the C is properly oriented. But more importantly, um, the reason why you need to care about that is that. Nice. Uh, the reason you need to care about that is that if you don't do that, uh, then later on it could actually seat itself in, and the pivot that was tuned to, to perfection previously will suddenly no longer be such. Uh, and, you know, you'll get blade play and whatnot, so it's a good idea to make sure that the pivot is cranked down as much as it's going to be able to be. Using some knife pivot lube here, and going ahead, rotate, 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 okay. Let's go ahead and pop this guy in here. And what we see, actually, or what I felt, is that the pivot slid back out again, so I need to just make sure that I'm not screwing that up. And I'm just not applying more here. I'm just rotating. Okay, next step is going to be to put the blade in place. That'll be fine. And I already put a little bit of lubrication onto the pivot. And by the way, if you're curious about any of the tools I'm using for this process, go to nickshabazz.com slash tools. Put a little bit of uh, oil into the detent ball hole, uh, which makes things a little bit um, smoother later on. Uh, I need to put in a bearing. Bearings are important before I put on the liner. I will put in a bearing, I will rotate, 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 and now I will put in the liner, um, and pop everything down, yeah, everything seems to be popping, unlike a party when I enter, uh, alright, let's go ahead and, um, pop this in, where is my thread locker, 
I already advertise if you're curious about any of the tools I'm using, go to extrabaz.com slash tools. Because if not, if you're curious about any of the tools I'm using, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll not cover that view. Okay. Ah, damn. See, look, the C is out of orientation. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave that there for the moment just so I can secure the back portion. Um, where are my other, where is my other screw? Do I have a screw loose here? I know I got a screw loose, but do I have a screw loose? I do. Okay. So then the shorter of the two screws goes into the clip area. Uh, I'm sorry, goes into the bottom part of the clip. The longer goes into the other one. Because recall, we didn't actually need to take out this second clip screw. And in fact, our life would have been slightly easier had we not. But that's okay. So I'm just putting that in there barely. Um, I still need to be able to rotate the pocket clip a little bit to make sure the top hole gets in alignment. So don't put too much gronk on that until you're done on the top there. Okay. Now I tighten you down. That's tight. Now that I can do that, I'll tighten ah, this down. That's good. Now, uh, this needs to get fixed. Uh, let's go ahead and see how I can do this. So I'm giving myself a little bit of extra... There we go. Okay. So all I did is I loosened the pivot a little bit. Now I'm using my finger against the, the C here and just kind of turning the whole pivot assembly. And at a certain point, I should feel that little... It should pop into place on that shelf. There we go. Now we're all the way in. Now I'm going to apply some pressure on the back side here. And then tighten the pivot here. There we go. Now we're tighter. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, I feel like I've tightened the pivot a little too much, so I'll loosen it up just a smidge. There we go. Oh, too loose. Add some side-to-side -side blade play. Tighten up. Smidge more. There we go. Beautiful. Centering is not quite dead on. What I'm going to do to try and remedy that is just loosen this back screw and then retighten. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Done. All right, there we go. Uh, that is your Civivi Chronic disassembled and maintained. Hope you found this interesting. Have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.